Imagine a disease that eats you away bit by bit every passing day. A disease that can remain silent in you for almost 10 years. A disease that claims more lives than AIDS does every year. You probably thought of cancer or heart disease, but it's tuberculosis. Popularly known as the forgotten plague, tuberculosis is a major health concern in the present day world. Unlike AIDS, which has emerged recently, tuberculosis dates back to as early as 3000 BC in the skeletal remains of Egyptian mummies. Tuberculosis was also described in Sanskrit scripts dating back to 500 BC. Today, a fourth of the global population is infected by TB. That's one in four people. India, with its fast-growing population, constitutes 27% of the global TB burden. About 28 lakh people currently suffer from TB in India. Every single day, 1,200 people die of TB. In the time it takes you to watch this video, tuberculosis would have claimed the lives of five Indians. This is a highly infective disease caused by a bacteria called Mycobacterium tuberculosis. A common myth exists that tuberculosis is a hereditary disease, but this is not true. In fact, it is spread by airborne droplets containing bacteria expelled from an infected person's mouth or nose when they cough or sneeze. These droplets can be swallowed or inhaled by another person, spreading the infection. This is called the droplet method of infection. It makes people living in overcrowded localities with poor sanitary conditions and hygiene particularly susceptible to infection. Many people believe that tuberculosis is a poor man's disease, but famous personalities like Amitabh Bachchan, George Orwell, and Nelson Mandela have also suffered from this disease. Another myth is that tuberculosis occurs only in the lungs, but this is not true. The reality is that tuberculosis commonly presents itself as a disease of the lungs, However, the infection can spread to other organs like bones, urinary tract, brain, intestines, and even to the skin. Tuberculosis is difficult to diagnose because the symptoms like cough and fever are not specific. The most common symptoms are persistent cough for more than three weeks, coughing of blood, evening fever which subsides without taking medication, night sweats, and weight loss over a period of time. Tuberculosis can be diagnosed by the Mantu test, which is a type of skin test, bacterial culture from phlegm, and a chest x-ray. A common myth is that tuberculosis is not curable. The fact is that tuberculosis can be cured. Fresh cases can be treated by an extreme regimen of four different tablets taken daily for six months. These include isoniazid, rifampin, pyrazinamide, and ethambutol. Resistant cases require treatment for up to 18 months. The first thing that comes to mind after being informed of such an intensive course of four different tablets every day for six months is the cost of treatment. Under the Revised National Tuberculosis Control Program, or the RNTCP, the government ensures that medicines are available to everyone free of cost. Tuberculosis can be prevented from spreading by following basic norms like avoiding spitting in public places and covering your mouth while coughing. The BCG vaccine is used to prevent tuberculosis, which is recommended to be taken at the time of birth or before the age of six months in India because of the increasing incidence of pediatric tuberculosis cases. It can also be given to any age group below 35 years who are at risk of developing tuberculosis, but no promising results are seen in people above 35 years.
We need leaders to fight for a tuberculosis-free world. Be a leader, spread awareness. Let's unite to end tuberculosis in our lifetime. Leave no one behind.